One, two, three. Hey guys, I'm back here, and today we're gonna to be uh, starting our lesson on masonry, all right? So one of the fundamental things what's gonna be most important about this trade, we talked a little bit about it in the classroom. Um, now we're gonna do a demonstration on actually how to apply the mortar to the blocks. And what's gonna be most important about learning this trade is how you set your work cell up. I've gone ahead yesterday and we set everyone's work cell up for you guys so you know how, to, how it should look. But more important than any other trade, a mason works in a very organized manner. So what you wanna have, if you look here, I have my mortar pan behind me. All right, this is my mortar board. This one's made out of OSB. Typically in the real world, we would use either plywood or a real mortar tray. Um, but for class, we're just using OSB. So you want your mortar board here, okay? And you want it up elevated. So we're just setting it upright on our 16 inch block. So it's elevated in that manner. Your work cell, we're going to start here with our 2x4, learning how to spread our mortar here. You want your work cell directly in front of where you're working, okay? So the main thing is, this is heavy, hard work. As a construction worker, you're trying to minimize your calories, right? So you don't want to be working harder than you need to be. And if you watch like a really seasoned old mason, it barely looks like they're working, right? And it's mainly because of how organized they are. So. That's most important, right? So you have your mortar board back here. I have my water you're gonna need for this activity. I have my trowel. I have three blocks in my work cell that we're gonna use a little bit later. I have two saw horses and a two by four. Now typically we wouldn't be spreading mortar on a two by four, but this is a good way to learn, all right? So that's, that's the first thing. Get your work cell, make sure your work cell is all set up. It's handy to take your four foot level and your two foot level and set it again in, in a concrete masonry unit or a concrete block, all right? So we have those handy while we're working. All right, the next step is we need to load our mortar pan with mud, all right? So in order to do that, if you're using a wood mortar pan, you wanna make sure that you put a little water down on your mortar pan first. So we take a little water, we're gonna put it on our mortar pan, and then we, we spread it around. Why do you think I do that? Anybody have any idea? Yeah, exactly. I don't want the debris from yesterday, and I'm also, I'm getting this wet, so it doesn't pull the moisture out of my mortar when I sit it up there. If I stick this on here, it's really dry, and it wouldn't be a big deal here in class, but in the summer when it's real hot, it would be a big deal. Yes, Michael? This one has a hole in it. Well, we'll work on that later, right? Well, and that probably wouldn't be that big deal. We just want to get it, get it moist. Now, the thing with mortar, it's terrible on your hands, right? So you want to try to keep it off your hands as best you can and use your trowel. But after you get this wet like so, we're gonna take a scoop of mud. All right, we mixed this up earlier. Do you guys remember what we put in it? Anybody, what's it made of? Sand, water, lime, and cement, right? Portland cement. Now in our mortar here, we're not putting the Portland cement because I doubt they want us to put some permanent walls in here. So um, we just take out the Portland cement so we just have sand, lime, and water in our mix. So you're gonna take a spoonful of it, sit it on your mortar board, like so. And this is what a, a mason laborer or a tender, if you were getting into this trade and you're in the journeyman program, the laborers will be mixing the mud, bringing the mud to you, bringing the bricks to you, getting everything ready. And the actual masons that are trained are the ones laying the blocks. So in this trade, it's very, very, much set up where you have a labor, an apprentice, and a, and a journeyman or a real mason actually doing, doing the trade. So once you get your mud left, um, on your pan, what we do is we, we do a technique called furrowing our mortar. It's F-U-R-R-O-W, furrowing our mortar. So we'll take it and we check the consistency of our mud. That's most important as a mason. What you want it to have is slump. All right, see how when I put some texture to it, it stays in that form. It doesn't just make a big pond or a puddle all over top of my mortar pan. That's referred to in the construction industry as slump. And um, it's important to have it when you're doing, when you're doing music. All right, so what you wanna do is when you're, when you're putting your, your mud here, the way you hold your trowel is gonna be extremely important. I hold my trowel in my hand with my thumb in line like that, so I'm literally pinching it right here. You want, you're not supposed, you wouldn't want to spin this in your hand. You want to keep it still 
and the motion is in your wrist like so, okay? It's just in your wrist like so. So if you watch a mason out on the real world, they're constantly working on their mortar, trying to keep it the right texture. That's most important. Because in the real world, when we put cement in here, it's gonna harden up fast. So we have to work fast uh, while we're doing this. So we have our mortar, we have our work cell. Now we're gonna get ready to put it on our blocks, right? So the first thing you wanna learn, we're gonna learn how to put and apply a bed joint to the top of our blocks. So remember the other day I told you to have a top and a bottom. It's fatter at the top and skinnier at the bottom on your concrete block. So we're gonna lay our blocks, this is a sash block, with the fat side up, okay? But before we do that, we're gonna use a technique here where we're gonna spread our mortar. So we're gonna spread our mortar like so. So one of the best ways to learn how to do this is take a two by four and saw horse, and if you zoom in here, Dylan, you can see the way I set my trowel on top of here is important. I want it right to the edge and right to the front. I want my finger in line there, and what I'm gonna do, the way I'm, I'm gonna stand here is if I'm getting ready to strike a baseball, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna spin it around, and slide it back like so. Again, it's like this. Now, different masons may have different techniques, but this is a good technique that works. So you're gonna have it up like so. Spin it. Notice my arm is pretty much straight the whole way. The motion is in my hand. So once you get the motion on the two by four, Come over to the block. The idea is you're going to set it to the front edge of the block and we're going to do one of these jobs. All right, guys, once you get the motion down, see how it's like a full body activity again, like, just like carpentry. All right, we're doing that. Once we understand the motion, we're going to come over here to our mortar and we're going to apply it to our trowel. Now, there's two different ways to apply mortar to a trowel. One way is like so, where we take it like this and we scoop it up like that so that we can slide it off our trowel, like so, okay? That's one technique. That's what you use when you're bricklaying, and then we would smash it down like so, okay? In this particular case, we want our mortar, we're laying blocks, not bricks, so the way we do it is a little different. We're gonna take a big spoonful of it, like so, a trowelful of it, and we're gonna slap it down like that. If we have it the right consistency, it should stick to our trowel like so, okay? The reason is it's vacuum, I'm not exactly sure of the technology behind it, but there, it seals it to the trowel essentially is all you need to know, it should, all right? And if, if, it, if it's the right consistency, that should work pretty well. So once we have it stuck like that, we're gonna take it over here to our block, we're gonna put it on our trowel, and we're gonna swipe it onto our block, just like so is the idea, all right? So that's how you do it. All right, so you can do it that way. Then when you get the hang of it that way, you're gonna to wanna to be able to swipe it both directions, okay? So you get the hang of it this way, then you get the hang of it that way, all right? So certainly there's a lot of different techniques that different masons that have been doing this for a lot of years may use, but I find this technique is a good basic beginner technique to use to lay block, right? So um, before we can actually lay the block, we're gonna practice this for a while. So everybody has a work cell. What you're gonna do, we have enough mud, you're gonna take a spoonful of mortar. You're gonna, you should make sure you inventory your work cell, you have everything you need. And we're gonna practice this for the next couple of minutes. Once you can get it spread successfully, I'll come watch you. And then we're gonna move on to the next activity. All right guys, so when you're doing this, what's gonna be important too, we're gonna to reuse the mortar over and over again. So we wanna to try to keep it as clean as we possibly can. You don't want to get like little rocks and debris in here because as we're laying block with, there's rocks and debris in here, it'll start to shift our, our mortar a little bit. So try to keep the mortar. That's why we want to now, we want to make sure we're doing masonry on this side, carpentry over there to keep the sawdust out of the mortar and stuff, guys, for the next couple of days, all right? Um, all right, thank you very much.